In today's video, we're going to solve one of the Scrimba challenges. And this challenge is part of their advent calendar. So for 24 days, you'll get a daily challenge that will help you to level up your JavaScript skills. Every day, the challenges will gradually get harder. So by the end of it, you'll be a JavaScript master. So go to the link in the description below to sign up. It's completely free and there are prizes. If you share your solution on Twitter, you'll be entered to win a yearly subscription and they're giving one membership away every day. And the grand prize winner is going to win $1,000 and a free lifetime membership. So be sure to check it out. The link again is in the description below. So let's solve this challenge. So this is the candies challenge from Dylan Israel. Let's give this a play first. All right. Who doesn't like candy? Maybe dentists, but I like candy. Um, and so do kids, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little candy problem here where we have a certain amount of kids and we have a certain amount of pieces of candy. In our case here, we have three kids and 10 pieces of candy. And we want to find out what is the total number of candy that will equally be eaten. So if each kid eats three pieces of candy, that would be the total max amount. Thus, in our case, the max candy they could eat is nine pieces. And we just, you know, give that last piece to dad, right? So a hint for how I solve this was I use map.floor. And as always, we'll write our code in the main JS file. Down below, we have our test suite to know when we get it right. To the right, we have the output. If you want some hints, uh, you know, the uh, super secret code of red is bad, green is good. You can always close it and just look at the console logs. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we need to figure out how many pieces of candy will be eaten by all of the children together. Individual pieces cannot be split. So if there's three kids, 10 pieces of candy, the total would only be nine. The extra piece would just be left over. All right, so let's, let's give this a shot. So if we go in here, let's, um, let's see. We have a function of candies, and we're being passed children and candy. All right, so first we need to figure out how many pieces of candy each child can have. So it seems like we would just divide candy by children. So let's create a const of, uh, we'll just say eaten. That will equal candy divided by children. And then let's return eaten. Let's try that. Okay, so we're getting a remainder, three. So if there's 10 and there's three kids, then we, we only want three. We want to get rid of that remainder. So let's wrap this in math.floor. That will give us an integer instead of a float. All right, let's run that. So now we're getting three. Um, we're still failing. So, okay, so we're getting three pieces of candy per child. We need to determine how many, the total pieces. Okay, we need the total pieces. So that would be eaten times children, right? Let's try that. There we go. That's it. All right, so this was a pretty simple initial challenge. As the days go on, they'll get harder and harder. So be sure to check out the link in the description for the Scrimba Advent Calendar. Sign up and you'll get these daily challenges and be able to enter to win all of the cool prizes. That's going to be it for this video. Like the video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.